You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. As we last left off, everyone was coming back up through Jazzadrun after everyone unlocking their abilities, getting their full gear, getting new gifts, coming back up. That's when Irish last called, uh, and Kenny got some particulars from her to try and make it to a pub in the center of Dublin to meet her and... Lim now carries the glow in the form of his of his aunt Amy. Yeah, everybody made it. So we will s- start with everyone after you hung up with Link going up the that elevator back into Jazzadrun. Well, I mean, okay, so we've got to take care of Iris last. She's going to meet us at the pub, but we didn't really specify when. And the rings are glowing, which I don't know if you were dead before that happened or not. Thank you for acknowledging that I was dead. Of course you were dead. <laughs> um, we carried well. your dead body around for a while. I still don't understand the confusion there. I'm going to call Irvin Cobb then, I guess. If that'll work. I'll call his ghost number. Okay, yeah. <laughs> call the ghost phone. Rings for a while. Hello? Mr. Cobb, it is it is high. Lim. Lim, my boy, how are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> you uh, sound... I died. Partially dead. Yeah, I died. Okay. But I'm back. Um, I didn't see you in the ghost club. I would have have taken you for a spritz. I wish I could have done that. I was actually trapped in um, my aunt's room. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, met with the... Oh, yeah, I've been there. I've been there, yeah. I know what you're talking about. (laughs) Met with a war god. The war god? He said he was the war god of the... Where he lived. I don't know if he's the war god. Well, I'm the war god of where I live as well. I guess we all kind of are the war god of where we live, aren't we? <laughs> um, so, are. My the, wife was the war god of where we uh, lived. Ha cha 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 cha. I'm a humorist. You've, you've had better, Mr. Cobb. <laughs> uh, still love you, though. It that was, was funny back in when I was alive. <laughs> I wore an onion on my belt. Which was a <laughs> at the time. Um, that would have filled up the Nickelodeon. <laughs> are, um, are Liz's aunts still there? Are they nearby? They are. Do they know that the, our, our, they, our rings just went off like not too long ago? Truly. Yeah. Well, I will inform them. So they went off while you were in your aunt's room? Uh, when did the rings go off? I think when we were in the It's like a couple, room. couple hours ago probably. Time's weird. <laughs> Yeah, we're all kind of confused right now. Uh, yeah, but it was like two hours probably. That's was it right, before? Everybody. Was it af- before or after we left the Blage? Well, before, I mean, it was. It was. Yeah, you're right. It was either right, right before or after, or right after Lim died. So I how, think it was right after. Lim how died. much time passed between the time we left? We were about to leave the Blage and now. Ten minutes. Maybe that whole rescue thing was ten minutes. Very, uh, time in Jazz Time's funny weird. In You're in subspace. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been about ten minutes then, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we think about ten minutes. Hmm. Okay. And you were what? You said you were in this, Lo- the Las Vegas. Yeah, that's right. right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, yes, sir. I will. I will inform them. Uh, great. We will be there shortly, or. We're going to Scotland first. I know it's not. I know it's not. Well, we no, should. I approve. That sounds good. Why don't we go back to the to to his house, real quick, and then I mean, either we need to stay there, and your aunts will tell us, or you know, it'll take us what a half an hour to go through a portal and get there. Probably right. Yeah. If you pass your power if checks, yeah. If we're able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> if not, Irish lives will just I'm a fucking seeker. Way. Otherwise, yeah, we'll just we'll just hang out in the pub. We'll just we'll just, we'll just fly out. Of, uh, we'll rent some sea dudes. We'll go. We'll, we'll go over we'll there. Get a flight out of Barclay Regional Airport up to Chicago, yeah. and from Chicago to yeah. Kiev, and from Kiev to. <laughs> so, uh, so what's the plan then? <laughs> we're, we're going we're, back to Budapest. Huh? It sounds like. Okay, yeah. we'll see you soon. Good, good. I'll see you then. Uh, don't forget, uh, the ants 
are very uh, squeamish for. They say to bring the drinks. Uh, surge. The surge. cocoa for cocoa puffs. Surge. Cuckoo. Surge. Right. We They're cuckoo it. for surge. Chocolate flavored. <gasps> Chocolate flavored surge. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Well, head back. I mean, get Link first, I guess. Isn't he sitting outside? Yes, please get Link. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, also here. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Sorry. I'll call Link. It's all right. Yeah, you call him. Hey, we just hung up. Yeah, I know, but that was before we decided we were leaving. <laughs> oh, okay. We're let's, leaving. Let's go. All right. I don't, you, I, I'm done. I don't like it. Are you allowed in here, or do we need to meet you in some back alley of, of the Vegas Strip? Or I'll, I mean, I'll go back to that. You want me to go back to that bathroom where we came out of? Sure. We came out of a bathroom. If yeah. I, if I can go back in. I can, I'm also just out here on the curb in front of the hotel. Okay. Well, we'll just meet you out there then. Okay. Click. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> No, you hang up. <laughs> <laughs> Love you more. <laughs> Dane, are you coming? Uh, no. Okay, I figured you weren't, but thought it might be polite to ask. No. Um, being away requires extensive planning on my part for my mother. I so understand. I will be here. But you see he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out um, a business card and hands it to you. I'll take it. It has his cell phone number on it. Oh, just so if you need, pull out my phone. Do put not it abuse in. that. All right, thanks. And then I don't need this anymore. <laughs> Does anybody want his card? <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. All right. And then it's when you get to the top and walking back through empty Jazzadrun, get back out, and then looks like he sort of spins subspace around till you can go out through one door, through another door, back into his apartment. And as you step back into the real world, that's when your armor and everything <laughs> fades off of you. <clears throat> So you're going back to Paducah? Yeah. Does yeah. it only function in subspace, or does it only appear in subspace? Oh, it can appear in the real world, too. <clears throat> oh, okay. So <laughs> would you like to try first? And if you can, I can make you a door. Let's do it. Well, we, we need to get Link, though, don't we? So I'll he, get he, goes oh. over, he goes over and has a, brings up his phone. I mean, I think <laughs> it'd be kind of funny if Link had to hitch a ride back to Paducah. <laughs> Bring in Link from the curb. Then he hangs up. Feels like that's not the first time you've said that. It's not. <laughs> Feels like a title. Link from the curb. The man. The man. Jenny from the block. <laughs> he's competent in his job, and I enjoy his work. But I've never <laughs> seen worse luck in a person in my life. Well, I don't know. I died. How many times has he died? I I don't know. <laughs> I'm not to make it a contest. I think. <laughs> well, as soon as he gets there. I guess that's yeah, it's not long before it looks like the security brings Link up and he walks in holding his got his cooler behind him. Nice. Nice. <coughs> Dane just nods at him. Well now now it's time to go. And he's oh, oh, okay. Well, it was cool getting to see the place finally. Let's go. Bye, Dane's mom. Natty twenty. <laughs> I rolled a nat twenty. Easiest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Home we go. To where exactly do you want to go? To the Irving Cobb floor, I guess. Where the where that's where the sisters are, right? Yes. I'm back to them. Okay, yeah, because you open or it, or at least I don't know if we can go directly to that floor, but at least to the Irving Cobb, so we can get upstairs. We have to stop for surge. Oh, okay. You can just shift that to uh, Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> <They're> perfect. <laughs> He's Dr. making Strange Doctor Strange it. hand motions. <laughs> <laughs> Can one of us just run in and get it real quick? Just don't, just don't stop doing keep that. Just keep, 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 keep that open. <laughs> you can run in and get more surge. I run in and get a bunch of surge. How much is a bunch of surge? Two cases. cases. Two cases of two, surge. Yeah, two cases. I don't. I mean, they're gonna kill themselves if they drink too much of this. I'm gonna put them on a surge diet. It may not exist in a couple of years. We really don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll get three. After all those kids die, they discontinue. It. I'll get three cases of surge and two bottles of whiteout. Get some jolt. <laughs> okay, get the surge, then go back. You realize you can't. It looks like it won't go into the hotel. The closest you can get is across the street. That's fine. 
because you you try to open it and it's like it keeps pushing you back. Okay. Every time you try to do. I figured that. it was probably protected up there. Somewhere. So yeah, you can come in. Uh, so on the sidewalk, on a wall by a building across the street. Okay. So you can walk back out, and then you could walk up, put in the seer code, and go back to the <clears throat> the hidden floor. Yeah, and then when you walk in, they open up. You see, um, looks like they've cleared out a big space, and there are it looks like etchings and paint, and all these strange designs on the floor, the walls, the ceiling, the whole thing. Different, different colors, different motifs. It's beautiful, but also jumbled and kind of crazy at the same time. And you see, they're each standing, standing in a corner with their eyes closed, all three of your aunts murmuring slowly. In different corners? Yes. Are they fighting? I think they're <laughs> chanting, magic in. The night time is the right time. <laughs> <laughs> then Irving Cobb just appears. Uh, they've been working on this spell for quite a while, and it's, I have to say, it's very powerful. That's good. I am impressed. These ladies know what they're talking about. That's comforting. So, tell me of this journey. Sounds like going to Vegas was intense. Uh, or in the Bellagio, yeah, rather. Let's say we didn't. Re- no time to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went to the Bellagio. I met Dane and his mom, and then uh, he had a deck of cards, and Benji drew it, and he got real strong and stuff. And then I drew oh. it, and I died. And then I don't know what happened after that because <laughs> I died. But maybe someone else could fill you in. The Dixie Chicks came over and gave everybody a hand. <laughs> you hung out, man. Yeah, it was it. We, we, we had to um, face our our face our better or worse halves. So everybody turned out okay? Well, well again, Lim died, but, you know. He got better. He got better. Is there Kenny is... got shot in the face. Totally got shot in the <laughs> face. I, I apologize for that. Sounds terrible. <laughs> well, you know. Live by the gun, <laughs> die by the gun, as they say. <laughs> there is a slight difference in your head. Oh, uh, yeah. I like fish now. All right. You didn't like fish before at all. I know. I know. Um, I think the correct way of putting it is fried fish is fine. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe it's not that severe. Well, when you die, you never come back quite the same. Is that right? Mm-hmm. When I die or when anyone dies? Anybody dies. Oh, okay. I didn't know if I was special. Yeah. I mean, you're special. But Thank you. I think you're pretty nice. Not in the death card. <laughs> well, what's your plan now? Uh, well, we're going to take care of this whole uh, Black Wolf thing. We've got to go to Ireland at some point, but we're really not sure what's you know, what, what's more important right at the moment because it may be a while. I guess we, we need to find out like how our... our ring things glowing now no so we probably still got it looks like the progression is somewhat slow yeah well it was he was close to vegas not necessarily close to here maybe he's driving yeah so like or riding a horse that would be maybe preferable. He's a wolf, maybe yeah, he's for like some vibrating. reason, yeah. yeah, we'll see in five months. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, I pictured you know them in the clouds, like <laughs> you know, coming after us. But they're, they're probably throwing spinies out. They're probably driving cars. Yeah, it's probably so, it's, yeah. Like a, it's a minivan. If they don't <laughs> stop. We got at least fifteen hours before they get here. All right. <laughs> and it's just a beat up old minivan with a decal of like. Shreds going down the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know what my conversation or what Lim's conversations with um, Irvin Cobb have been regarding subspace. I don't think we've actually. Ever, I don't know if we've ever really talked about mm. it or or what. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Because did you it'd be probably until you ran into Kenny to know how real it was? Or, right. Mm. So I don't know if we've ever like talked about it or anything. Well, no, he knows about it because he helped your mom. That's right. Okay. I wasn't going to bring it up if if cuz it would take a really long time. Yeah. All right, there's a thing called subspace. Uh-huh. Uh, I read about it on the I read about it online. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I met my aunt, Kenny's mom. Really? Yeah, on the other side. So which, you have your own little subspace family thing going on. I, yeah, it sounds, yeah. It seems like it. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Hmm. And um, this, I guess, is maybe news to everybody. I don't know. 
because uh, now that we're all like connected and stuff, I don't know what you guys know and what you don't know, but uh, I can heal the glow now. So I got that going for me, which is nice. This is something fantastic. Okay. Well, supposedly I can. All right. Well, let's go. <laughs> let's go get. Let's go get Jill then. Yeah, that's on my. It's on my list, along with. But I think I want to try it on my siblings first to see how it goes. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or at least one of them. Um, but we have other. Um, I mean, we have a lot of stuff to tend to. That's. I mean, it's like, do you try it on the sibling that you like the most or the sibling you like the least? I want to try it on Ignatius. Um, and it's just because I know he helped put the glow in Jill. Mm -hmm. So, or I think he did at least. He kind of, it kind of seems like that. So I figure maybe he's the one to start with. Sounds like a plan. But, so, you're, so you're going to your house then? Not yet. I wish, but we have like so many like pots in the fire right now. We're going to we gotta, try to bang out this task with Irish Lass and see right. if we can get to her. And then we got Black Wolf business. Mm -hmm. And then, and then yeah, I think. But, but they'll be here with the fairs in town. Oh, right. What is, when is today? <laughs> so I think it's, uh, what, four, day, four days until they would get here? Oh. And they really are riding horses. <laughs> All right. Well, four, day, four days until the fair starts. I'd imagine they have to get here earlier and set up. Okay. All right. Split the difference. Two days we got. Okay. All right. Just well, to be hey. on the, just to give ourselves a buffer, you know. Maybe well, we I mean, it doesn't that. seem like that much time has passed since we left here. Since you said that a whole encounter in Jazz Street was only ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Like what? So we've gone like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, if we go to Ireland the same way, then it seems like it should Shouldn't be no be that big bad. deal. Yeah. As long as we don't like hang out too long. As long as we go to the right Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I got. I, that's why I got all the. As far as like the pub and the location and as many like details from Irish Last as I could because that Smart. gives me the extensively researched option to roll a gate or a subspace door mm -hmm. to a D twenty as opposed or to B twenty instead of twenty five. Smart. So Heck yeah. We can go if you want. We got to call her, I guess, and let her know that we're on the way. Didn't we get her? We got her number uh, on your phone there, Lim, didn't we? Yeah. You want to ring her up? See, do you all want to do that now, or did you want to? I mean, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> probably better to get that off the checklist while mm -hmm. we've got a minute. But I think, I mean, if I remember the conversation correctly, she just said, I'll meet you there. I think she expected us to be coming right now. Yeah. Which is kind of why. I was... Or we could just go, and then if she's not there, we call her. If, sure. she's, if she's not yeah. there, we'll just hang out in fucking Ireland for a little while. Drink a little bit. We got a couple of days. Why not? <laughs> Your cell phone rings. Lynn. Oh. <laughs> it scares Where the me. Hell <laughs> is. is there a number on there or anything? Blake. Oh. I'll answer. Blake. Hey, Lim. So I wanted to call you. I talked to Irish Lass and gave her your number. And she said she would call you. Yes. She didn't really believe me. It yeah. sounded like it. She said, well, maybe <laughs> I'll call him sometime. She, we talked to her. She's already called you? Well, let me ask you a very important question. Okay. It might not have been her. When she talked to you, did she sound Irish? Uh, like Canadian Irish. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, did she call us? <laughs> sounded like you someone know, the, doing the their... true Irish. <laughs> right, of course. Yeah. It sounded like someone doing their best approximation of Irish. Yes. <laughs> then yes, we talked. We're going to meet her. It sounds like an eighth generation Irish American <laughs> trying to use an Irish <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. Yeah, that was her. We're meeting her at a um, a pub. Oh, okay, cool. Do you want to come? Yeah, okay. Okay, where are you? I am. Oh wait, I'm gonna give the phone to Kenny. He's probably gonna. He's driving the bus. Okay. So he might have questions for you. Well, I I might be able to come to you easier. Oh. Because yeah, if you tell me. Okay, so I figured it out. Like I, I'm pretty good at opening these doors. If you can tell me, well, Kenny's pretty good descriptively. Too. <laughs> okay, let me talk to Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> just get defensive. Hey, yeah, what's Kenny's up? Kenny's good. He's really good. He just here. He just opened one. <laughs> <laughs> and Dane, he failed every time except this one time, um, like a minute ago. <laughs> and Dane made a face like maybe he had rolled a twenty, if that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, gay. Hey, Kenny. What's up? So I'm, I think I'm pretty good at opening these doors. If I have like a good description, I think it's usually pretty easy, easy for me to open doors to go there. I'll give him, I, he sounds like a seeker. I'll give him as, 
having lived here my whole life, I'll give him the description of where we came out when we came back to Paducah from Las Vegas, mm-hmm. of where to jump down to the down to the color of the paint on the walls out there. You know. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna bring my girlfriend too. Oh yeah. Wait. <laughs> wait whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go for it. If you can't get here, I'll see if I can get to you. Yeah. You see outside. You can look outside the window and you see a... Hey, space is that, door is that your uh, door out there, man? Yeah. Can you see this? And it looks like you see what looks like some kind of rod stick out of the, the doorway. Yeah, the rod just poked out of the doorway. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's me. Okay. We'll meet you out there. I'm feeling like maybe not That's bringing him. him up to the floor. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's coming. He's opened the door, but I'm thinking maybe not bringing him up here. Oh, okay. Let's meet him downstairs. We'll meet you downstairs. Cool. Are you afraid he's going to drink all our surge? Or? Yes, okay. absolutely. Did he really? What? Did you guys have surge? <laughs> no, no. So he's he's outside. He's coming outside right Do now. Do you have bagel bots? Yeah. With the he fell for it? No shit. No awesome. shit. <laughs> Let's get him. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The mouse is in the trap. I repeat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to y'all. Let's go downstairs and meet Blake yep. and his girlfriend. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm just going to, while they go down, I'm going to place one can of Surge next to each chanting chant. <laughs> so they come out of their chant as a nice surprise. A chanting ant, a chant, <laughs> a chaunt. Chaunt. <laughs> Chaunting aunt. Chaunty. Yeah, you see one of them looks like a. Uh, an eye barely cracks open, she smiles and nods her head. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys open the doors to the front of the Irvin Cobb, and you see across the street uh, somebody with dark sunglasses. Looks like they have red hair that's kind of pushed down, very skinny, wearing a, a white t shirt and uh, basketball shorts and sandals. And they, with those dark sunglasses, they have a long, what, staff almost um, kind of swishing it side to side. Oh. Um, and you see holding holding on to the to his arm is a, a a thin brunette, long hair and a ponytail. Looks like she looks very concerned kind of looking side to side. When you guys open up, that's when you see his head come up. Guys? I guess that's yeah. why he wanted to bring his girlfriend. Us? <laughs> oh. CBC. No, I'm teasing. Never, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's us. No, we're not here. <laughs> so he just waves his uh, waves his arm. So, um, I'm blind. Yeah? What the fuck you say? <laughs> here, here I'm blind. Oh, and this is, this is my girlfriend, Laura Beth. Hi. She just... Hi. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to Paducah. To Paducah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, thanks. That we was like weird. Oh. <laughs> First time, huh? I've never done that before. I've been in his special black space before. <laughs> uh, but shut up. Tell shut us, up. Tell us about that. Did, did you bring me across the country to meet perverts? <laughs> <laughs> Does he know anybody else? <laughs> He's like, I, I hope so. I hope that's exactly what I did. I don't know why he did it, but it's a bonus. Can can you remind me how we know Blake? He is Mambo sixty nine. Oh, okay. He's always mm-hmm. on the message board. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> Continue. He's like, uh so are we going to fucking Ireland? Yeah. Seems like it. Okay, awesome. And <laughs> Lord Beth looks very concerned. Do you not have your passport or? Hey. No. Oh, my God. Do we need a pa- I didn't bring anything. Good news. He just said, let's go. And I came. We're not going. <laughs> we're- oh, oh, my God. You <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> oh, that Jill's a lucky girl. <laughs> We're not going through customs, so I do. Don't. And then Blake licks this motion where he licks both of his hands, and then like he's <laughs> doing a tree trunk, <laughs> which is actually a motion real life Blake Woods makes a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I mean, Ireland. Let's go, look at Kenny. If y'all are ready, if we can go. Well, yeah. do you want me to show you guys? He's, his door is open behind him. Can I show you guys something real quick? Yeah, that's sure. really cool. Yeah, see, he and Lord Beth walk back into the door. I'm walking in. Yeah, when you when you walk in to his subspace, 
that's when you see what was sunglasses is now a Jordy LaForge visor. <laughs> and his blind cane is now um, a bright red, looks like a soul quarter staff that he's just holding in his hand. And he looks, okay, now I can actually see you guys. Great. I don't know why, but I can see if I'm in subspace. So I spent a lot of time here. Cool. Understood. So, and then, yeah, Laura Beth's like, yeah, no, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, that's all I want to show you guys. Oh, cool. <laughs> I want to show How many fingers somebody. am I holding? <laughs> well, you're making the sign for white supremacy, so I can't say I like that very much. <laughs> you're making the sign. Benji, we talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this one. <laughs> you met my great, great, great grandpappy. You think there's that much blonde hair and fair skin? It's just by coincidence. <laughs> Yeah. Nice subspace. Okay. Thank you. You see you're standing in, you see the normal black spaciness of subspace, but you're on a football field that has lots of arcade machines and then a, a desktop computer sitting in the middle. And then a large oven with a lot of bagel bites in it. Mm-hmm. I mean, when pizza's on a bagel. Yeah, you damn right, you pizza anytime. Yeah, pizza anytime. And Laura Beth just, oh, I'm really sick of bagel bites. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sick of making fights. Have you tried Hot Pockets? Cal- caliente Pockets? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's go to Ireland now. I just want to show somebody that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just proud of it. That's awesome. I think it's Hopefully cool. Hopefully you can see in ours. Oh, oh I didn't think about that. That'd okay. Be neat. Have okay. you been in have you been in any one of those? No. Oh wow, that's gonna, no. be, this is gonna be cool then. Okay, awesome. Maybe you can see I'm in Ireland. That's what I was thought he was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, hopefully you can see in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that's how blindness works. But. Ireland's yeah, in subspace, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you drink a Guinness in Ireland, you can see. <laughs> I read that in, like, uh, U.S. News, I think. <laughs> okay, so then you guys can walk out of his space back into Paducah. We ready? I think, do you need to close that before we open this? Oh, like, is yeah. that going to be a... He waves his hand and it Like a disappears. weird thing, maybe. Yeah, I don't want to leave it there. You're right. <laughs> He's waving his hand at something that's not the gate. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No problem. I got this. That's a, that's a stop sign. <laughs> I heard the it's gone, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I'm going to roll for a door. Oh, Fucking fail. He assists you. Oh. As a seeker, he could do that. Still a fail. Rock into Ireland, guys. Uh, it's weird. It looks just like in front of the Urban Cobb Hotel. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, they have one of their one well, of those here too. Tell me, and I can try. Give it a shot. I'll give him the details. Kenny, you're embarrassing me. I told him you were really good at this. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better at it now, but not good. Yeah, you can roll to assist him as well. <laughs> a three. Plus what? You have seven. Yeah. Ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> How long to wait before right. I try it? All right, again? Liam. I know this isn't Tomorrow. your thing, but right. Tomorrow. here we go. You guys ready? We're going to Ireland. Who's helping me? Me. No one? All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. <laughs> Hell was that? No. Uh, <laughs> Blake assists you. <laughs> <laughs> What's needed? Did you roll a For, 20 or something? No. Or was that your, or was <laughs> no, that that your was that was ultimate fizzle, online fizzle? fizzle. fizzle. No, okay. No. no, no. Well. You know, there was a time where I thought I'd be good at this, but <laughs> turns out I'm not. You want to come inside, drink some Surge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. I do really like Surge. I mean, you know, might as well. What manner, what <laughs> manner of, is it, is it one per day regardless, or can I rest and try again? Uh, I'm going to tell you to take a short rest and try again. Okay. Hey, uh, Laura Beth, can I ask for a favor? Maybe. Uh, don't look at me. I mean, you're the... Oh, never <laughs> you, well, you've been very offensive so far. <laughs> I'm not even sure what your name is. <laughs> and now you're asking me for favors. Oh, that's that's White Power Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, WPB. White Power Benjamin. the man. Yeah. <laughs> Will you take a picture of us in front of the Urban Cop? 
Yeah, okay. Do you have a okay. camera? Yeah, I've got the, the throwaway cameras I bought at Walmart with the sisters when we met the lady yeah. and her kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she clicks it over. Okay. You can use this for the new band posters, us in front of the other cop. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> How many do you want? Just, just a couple, whatever, okay. you know, make it look good. Yeah. Yeah. Just say, make some, yeah, make some yeah. rock and just roll the poses. Four of you together. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Yep. Click, click, click. Thank you. You're welcome. I do like to talk. Now we have to go send it off and wait a week for it to get back. Why didn't you ask me to take the picture? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think you know what, Blake. <laughs> I know. I like making people feel bad like that for a second. Because <laughs> they, they don't want to say why they didn't ask me, so they just feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's because you're blind. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. Right. Okay. We're on the same page. <laughs> Actually, it's because he's a ginger. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> How long do we have to, like, do they need to wait before trying again? I say like a 10 minute rest and we'll just try again. I think oh, that's okay. fair. I got surge inside. <clears throat> okay. And once you're, I say once you're inside, you could conjure a door. Inside, but you couldn't go from the outside in. But if you go under a door and leave if you needed to. Okay. So I can try now? Yeah, you guys go and rest for 10 minutes, drink a surge. Better. But I got to be to 20 for... Yeah, you had to be to 20. I haven't been there. Yeah, didn't work. I'm trying one more time. Okay. It's been in a red ship. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, let, let that be your assist reroll, and then you can roll twice again with that chip. I'm keeping this door open when we get to <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Fuck. Nope. That's one. That's you get, 11. You can oh, bring, I get two more. Yep. I get another try. There we go. Hit it. Opens up. All nice. right. Nice. All right. I heard that. Let's do it. I think we should take go a couple of cans of Surge for Irish Lass. Good idea. Go buy some new surge. This is our surge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading through. I don't want to disturb my aunts mm-hmm. in their chanting, so I will ask Mr. Ghost Cobb to. We've been over this, Liz. <laughs> 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 We've been over this list. <laughs> Just whenever they're done, please let them know that we went to Ireland. We'll be back soon. <laughs> sure. I'll be right <laughs> back. <laughs> After you got back from Las Vegas, you went right to Ireland. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. <laughs> With a blind kid and his girlfriend. <laughs> That's a euphemism for just doing something. mushrooms or something. Because <laughs> you see, then Lord Beth turns and looks at Irvin Cobb and starts to panic a little bit. It's a, No, it's a, he's cool. He's, yeah, he's all right. Blake just, oh, what's wrong? There's what's, a, what's going on? There's just a ghost here, Blake. That's all. Oh, is that all? Yes. Dude, is there for real a ghost here? Yes. <laughs> Looks like he just starts like walking out with his head. He's got his staff. I'll believe it when come, I see it. Come here, ghost. His name is uh, Irwin Cobb. Ghost. <laughs> Mr. Ghost Cobb. Ghost Cobb. <laughs> <laughs> you the see, real Laura, ghost Laura, Cobb. Laura Beth stops for a second. You're oh, good. that guy who hosted like yeah, the seventh Academy, Academy Awards, <laughs> and I rolled a oh, ni- you know? I rolled a nineteen. I didn't know you were Cobb. <laughs> and he goes, "I yes, I did. I like this one." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, well, I really want to go to Ireland, guys. Let's go to Ireland. <laughs> It's been a good trip so far. <laughs> Irvin Cobb said that. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I would love to go to Ireland. But alas, I am not able. They've got great whiskey, I'm told. Speaking of alas, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to pack as many uh, indig- indigenous wildlife as I can with me so that we can <laughs> disrupt their <laughs> ecosystem. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> a weird looking snail. I bet they don't have that over there. <laughs> Do they have this urban potato frogs? potato beetle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, frogs. <laughs> Ravens. Yeah, you guys walk through into... Did you open it to the pub? Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know the exact, like, you know, place, so probably outside the pub. <laughs> yeah, so you guys probably... You walk out into an alleyway. Okay. Can the do- will the door stay open, Doctor Strange style, or do I have to roll to get us back home? It will. It, if you keep it open, it will stay open. But you also have the option to lock it if you want. Like lock it, but it's still available. Mm-hmm. I'll lock it. 
So I think it's like a DC 10 check to lock it, maybe. If you can't lock it, we'll just stick some trash or crates in <laughs> yeah, cover it up. <laughs> like I, they will think, that's a good idea. <laughs> I, love I have this. to roll to unlock a it. <laughs> just put a over it. Yeah. Naruto style. It's a cloth <laughs> that's the same color as the wall. <laughs> Not a portal. <laughs> I love this. Uh, do I have to roll to unlock it? Or just to lock just it? Just to lock it. I could say one, once you establish the lock, you could unlock it. That's a D10. <laughs> Was that not what I'm rolling? No. You're rolling a D20, DC. T- you have to roll a D20 and get oh. the 10. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So, yeah, you just could have swirl it. The colors swirl inside of it, and it stops. So now no one no one but you can access it. Okay. Because if you were to just leave it open, anyone could come in and out of it. Gotcha. All right. Let's go to the pub. All right, yeah, because you just walk out of the alleyway and you're in the middle of Dublin, very busy middle of the day. It would be the middle of the day. You know the time change from from Paducah to Ireland. I think it would be the day because it was at night and at home. Okay. Well, yeah, they're like, I mean, they're going to be roughly on GMT, which is what five hours ahead of Eastern time, so six hours ahead of us, something like that. Yeah, and it was pretty late, so. Was it? Yeah. Okay. So I'd say it's morning. Okay. Then, yeah, you see you're in front of the, um, I don't know, what would they actually name an Irish pub in Ireland? It'll be something like O'Grady's or <laughs> the, Fox <laughs> and the, the Fox and the Hound. No, that, that's a British, that's more of a British thing, I think. The, the Wrinkle Dog. Sanford and Son. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Mick Sanford. Mick Sanford and Son. <laughs> <laughs> The Max Hamford son. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Beefo Brady. <laughs> Bob the Cinnamon is, is a Beefo Brady's. <laughs> that, yep, that's it. You're in front of a Beefo Brady's. I hear it's the first one. The original. <laughs> hey, look, there's beef. <laughs> <laughs> Established 1697. <laughs> Effect the event. <laughs> All right, are you going into Beefo Brady's? Sure, yes. yeah. Dressed up like a cowboy and whatnot. <laughs> when you, uh, yeah, you walk in and it's not many people in Beefo Brady's ever, especially <laughs> not in Ireland in the morning. But make a investigation. Ah, uh, Ireland. <laughs> we all, we all <laughs> Seventeen. It's, it smells weird in here. <laughs> Ireland <laughs> smells weird. <laughs> Are we all investigating? Yes. At 22. 17. Oh, wait. 18. Four. Nine. So the the two of you, um, Liz, Liz, Blake, and Lim, all on the same level. Don't, <laughs> don't see anything. <laughs> you see, you see, <laughs> so much great stuff in here. <laughs> <laughs> you see in the very back, you, you recognize her from the video as you see uh, Irish Lass at the back of the, the back of the main room. I will approach. Yeah, as you approach, she just she stands up. She has very, very long, curly red hair. What did she say her name was? Did she give us her name when we talked to her on the phone? Uh, Nate said it was Abigail. 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 How do you know that? My name's Kenny. We talked on the phone. Mm-hmm. I have something for you. Because she looks very, she's still very guarded. Who has her, I have her bracelet, don't I? <clears throat> no, I sold that <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Came all this way for nothing. I think I have it. I'm going to, I'll take out the bracelet from my bag and give it to her. Yeah, she takes it and looks at it. And she, when she turns it over, and as soon as she reads the inscription, you see she she bursts into tears and collapses on the floor. I'll offer to help her up. and You see, it takes her, say, she, it's like she she's in her own little world for a little while before she looks up and she she takes your hand and stands up. So it is, it is, it's true. It's true. He's gone. We tried really hard. We really, really did. And his, his last, I promise you, his last thoughts were of you. And all his last concern was that we find you and give you this and tell you he loves you. You see, she's just crying. She puts, she puts on the bracelet. <sighs> well, thank you. <sighs> tell, I, I, I want everything. Please, what happened? The, the whole thing or just how he died? What, just what happened? Just what we found out about oh. him. I <laughs> mean, I'll go, I'll tell him, I'll tell her the, we met him in Jazzadroon. He'd been 
cursed and turned into p- partially, you know, was turning into a what were those things? A realtor goblin? A realtor, a realtor goblin. goblin. Realtor yeah. goblin. <laughs> that gives her pause. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. Um, I'll go through the whole story and just fill her in. Let her know. Oh, uh, he couldn't. I told him not to go in, in it without me. It was dangerous. We were fine together. Did you meet him couldn't. in subspace, or did you meet him? We we met on the message boards, and we met in subspace. Oh. He he couldn't stay away. It was it was like a it was like a compulsion. He had to keep going back, and he even just started ignoring me, going back into Jazz's room. So something bad eventually happened. I don't know. He was never obsessive before, but then suddenly he was. I can see that. The place has a weird effect on the people that go in there. He couldn't leave, so I don't know if maybe he was infected. Well, that's the thing, is if he just started doing that all of a sudden, could it be possible that somebody put the glow in him and compelled him to be there? But it's also if he went in there and just couldn't find his way out. I mean, <clears throat> we had to do a lot of searching before we found a way out, and there was four of yeah. us. And he tried to leave. He told us that he tried to leave and that he couldn't. And we tried, we to, tried get him to get him out many times, and it just fate wasn't having it. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So I've read about this glow. Uh, who would have given it to him to keep going into Jazzadrune? <clears throat> but a person can, can give it? I've read that it sometimes happens. If you're in subspace, you can just randomly get it. Yeah, a person can give it. It's rare, but some people have the ability to imbue people with the glow. So that her her face gets stony at that point. So some, so someone essentially murdered him then. Possibly. We don't know who would have done it. We didn't encounter the person, anyone other than him, <clears throat> and enemies. Where we were in there's there. a chance it could even just be and it could have just happened in with Project Mindful. I yeah. mean, there's there's that possibility too. I mean, it could have just been mm. something that was triggered by that place. Where was Nate from? Salt Lake City. Well, you see, looks like she conjures a door behind her. Oh, you did that real easy. <laughs> I, I rolled pretty good. Shut up, man. I, I, it's not my gift, but I rolled pretty good. <laughs> um, well, if you wouldn't mind, I know that you know you're you're sort of linked together once you travel into someone's subspace. I'd like you to come into mine, and that way, if you need something, I'll help. I I want to help you. I I'll repay you however I can. Oh, Did well, I, thanks. We didn't really do anything, though. I mean. Well, you tried, and you, you answered a question I could have spent the rest of my life asking. Um, did either one of you use the Huckleberry Orb? Is it... Do either of you intend to? No. I've already picked mine. I've used my... I've, yeah. He I got the healer one. He took healer, and I picked a different skill. So that's just sort of floating out there now. It's just for whatever. Just, I mean, it doesn't do anybody any good except for another subspace user. Correct. Do we have it? Mm-hmm. I mean, we have you do. To. So mean, either giving it to Blake or... Irish Lass maybe make more powerful allies. Kind yeah, of it's a thing. great idea. I mean, I didn't if y'all are going to use it, then... I didn't think of that. I yeah, love it. We can't use it, so it's not, not a bad idea. I mean, yeah, that is a good idea. I feel like Blake's been a real big help so far, too. So yeah, it almost seems like Huckleberry would be really fitting for him. It's not I'd mention it. That's yeah, a great idea. I wish I'd have thought of it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for the blue chip. Oh, and I also meant like six sessions ago to give one to Dave. To me? <laughs> a green chip to Dave. Why? We Just don't know thing. yet. It was... Oh. Um, oh, I was saying what, we, what the green was for. We don't know. Yeah. Oh. Because it was something that was revolving around Nate. Okay. It's break. I'll take it. It's a break in case of emergency chip. That break in case of Nate. Mystery yeah. thing <laughs> that I ask you if you want to use it. <clears throat> oh, well, you know, she... Leads you all, ask you to come into her subspace. Yeah, I'm going in. I so the yeah, the interior. Everybody goes in. The interior looks like a a warmly lit castle oh, with is... these big overstuffed leather chairs, a table in the middle filled with grapes, cheese, beer, all sorts of food. Very nice in here. Thank you. Cozy. Um, question: uh, Can you still access somebody's subspace even when they've moved on? I, I, I tried. We were linked together, but I, I couldn't. It's like it just wasn't there. 
I don't. You didn't go into a lot of detail about how the glow works, but I assume you figured that out because you spent time with. I assume I figured that out too, but I don't know. I haven't had a lot of experience <laughs> with finding it or removing it. Why? Should we maybe start investigating each of your subspaces to make sure there's not something there? I mean, I'm. A, I'm I think that's a good idea. The only reason I asked about Nate was, I mean, if, if his, it was still accessible, could you see if he was actually affected by the glow? But now I'm thinking, well, we should probably use that as a precaution for each of us, yeah. including you two, and I hate to say it, but maybe going into our subspace, because we have subspace, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe you Doing all... A sweep? Yeah, just sweeping for bugs. Okay. I mean, like I said, I don't think I'm really good at finding it, but, I'll, but hey, I'll take a look. As a seeker, I might be. The only one who could access <clears throat> it, unless you're naturally cross paths, like Nate and Irish last naturally cross paths, uh, it takes a tunneler to connect. Hmm. Right, but I mean, I can. Uh, Aurora does so. But, but yeah, but like like we're in her subspace now, mm. and I we we went to Blake's subspace. We've been in both of their subspace. I'm like saying like maybe you guys who know what you're looking for go in and start looking around, poking around subspace and seeing if you can find that a glow has been planted. I mean, we are pretty new at this. So I don't know how good we'll be able to do, but yeah, I think it's great. I'm saying it's it, may, worth, it may be impossible for all I know. I'm just, it's worth sniffing around, right? I mean, as dangerous as the glow is, which I mean, it right. is dangerous, seems to be. So. so you guys all seem to be pretty good friends and travelers and know what you're talking about with subspace. We're a band. Oh, all right, all right. Is there, I don't know, um, it seems like you're on a mission. It's like the Blues Brothers. God. Is there something, are you just, you're, are you a band doing Goodwill, or, I don't know, to come all the way here, to whip through Jazzadroon together? We kind of got pulled into a bunch of crazy stuff that I guess probably most bands don't go through. I don't know, this <laughs> nah. is my first band, so. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty unique experience, I'm going to go ahead and say. Well, if you go into Jazzadrune or if you're, I don't know, whatever whatever it is that you're doing, uh, I, I want I want to help. So, I, however, I don't know how I can do that or when you would need me, but I'll help. I, I'm afraid afraid of Jazzadrune, but I want to see if there's something there. See if there's something that can give me an idea of what happened. Well, it's gonna. You see, Blake's like, ah. Uh, I've been poking around a little bit. Oh, you need to not do that. I know. I know. It's not smart. It's dumb. And Lord Beth's just like, yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, I know, but I can I can open a door and I GTFO if something ever happens. But, you know, I've been exploring around some. Don't do that alone anymore. <laughs> yeah, it probably isn't a good and idea to do it I alone. I know, I know, I know. And if we, I mean, to Irish last, you know, we, we're done with it. We... We finished it out. It's we've been back since we were there, and it's as if it's the same as it was when we left. Ours was different than y'all's, and we take you back. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to reveal anything for you. Yeah. And then she looks back toward her door, and who are you? And you see Link is standing with his cooler <laughs> drinking a beer. I forgot I was here too for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But no, I'm their manager. <laughs> Good to meet you. <laughs> well, and I'll give everyone um, 3,000 experience points for completing the mission of finding Irish last and re- returning uh, the bracelet. So, Dave, you and I should have, have be the same, right? Uh, and they're probably. Right? Yes, I'm a level ahead of you, and he's like level 800. Are you, do, what do you have? What do you have? I'm uh, 6,900? Yes. Nice. Okay, good. All right. Nice. She just wanted to make you say 69. I wanted to say it. <laughs> so it all worked out. I don't know. What, I mean, so you guys leveled up then? I mean, do we? Yep, so it was 6,500 to level up. Okie doke. I'm going to take a break and pen to paper and level yourselves up. What's up to Tyler? Do you want to take a break? Pee? Do everything? Level up a little bit? Welcome back.
back. I just realized that it hasn't been that long since we fought ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I never, like, healed myself in any way. So I'm going to ask Abigail if I can eat some of her magic grapes on her subspace table. Sure, go for it. So can I eat some grapes and... Mm -hmm. They're haggis grapes. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want to do that. I'm pretty sure haggis isn't vegan. A bunch is like a Scottish, so it's entirely not appropriate. <laughs> yeah, so then you can Re-armed use however Scotland, many d10s. You have five d10s you could use. Uh, that's per, per day. Yep. Five d10s per, per, per day. Long, per, uh, per day, yeah. Okay, so I'll do one d10. Okay, so d10 and then add your constitution modifier. That's what you heal. Okay, that's fine. You say plus my constitution modifier? Yep. Okay, that's better. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, you eat that, eat that grape, but suddenly all oh, your wounds start healing up. Good well, you grapes You stabbed here. by yourself. <laughs> Thanks for the money. Have you had the grapes in Japan, the $100 grapes? They're really I'm good. sorry, what? $100, $100 grapes. For like how many? One. It's one big grape. It sounds like a scam to me a little bit, do no. you think? They're good. <laughs> Are they $100 good? I didn't spend a hundred dollars. I opened a gate. And I stepped through and I took the grape and I left. You stole the grapes? Hell yeah, I did. I'm, I'm not in a gonna, grape I'm, thief subspace right now. I'm, not, I'm, I'm looking for the spin. glow. I'm looking for it. I'm looking. I'm picking up. I'm picking up like duvets and looking we're, under. We're God's limb. <laughs> all the grapes. You're not a street rat or a riff raff. <laughs> imagine all that freak quiz knows. <laughs> Just take it out of the oven. <laughs> Open a gate. Or Captain D's. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can go for some you fish and chips. You do that here in Scotland, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, in, in Ireland, we do some. Hey, we'll just go over to London real quick and get some fish and chips. Yeah, okay. Hey, that's yeah. not the worst idea in the world, actually. I mean, sure, why we not? We got time to kill. The ants are chanting. They're chanting. And so. <laughs> sure. Sounds good. I'm looking for the glow, though. I was really excited about eating a beef O'Brady's, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't be. He's like, you don't want to eat Don't here. Be. Some of the weirdest diarrhea I've ever gotten was when Dave and I got the fried platter at Bevo Brady's and split it. <laughs> fried platter. It was literally a plastic plate. <laughs> Just deep Just fried. Dip. <laughs> Eat your microplastics, American. Okay, so sorry. This is like a tangent, but like because you talk about a deep fried platter, I have to ask, has anyone here had fried butter? <laughs> I didn't even know this was a thing, but they had it apparently at the fair. Oh, I've heard of, of it. I've never had it. I didn't know it was. I didn't know it existed. <laughs> I knew they fried up a lot of shit at the fair. Yeah, but the, I didn't. They've come I mean, to you a new level with butter. butter. So did you eat it? No, no. no. I, I was hope hoping. You had a report for us. No, I didn't have uh, anything at the fair because uh, <laughs> it was all like forty dollars. Yeah, <laughs> Henry had ice cream, and that was like all right. Funnel, <laughs> funnel cake is always a go-to if we go to the fair. Tony has to get a funnel cake. Can't, so. can't. Still this day, can't do it. Really. I associate it so strongly with horse shit from Tater Day. Ah, <laughs> so I remember I as a kid, I'd always it. see the funnel cake and smell horse shit. Mm. So I cannot eat funnel cakes. Mm. Fairs are the one time, like per year, that I will eat a corn dog. That's what I always associate oh, with the fair. Yeah, um, I like a corn dog. So, corn dog. so are we gonna go eat fish and chips or? I mean, I'm looking for the glow. Sure. As soon as oh, you're gonna, how do you? Glow, yeah. I mean, how do you find that? I'm just looking. <laughs> Is she, uh, okay. is she asking me or are you go. asking me? No, she's a, can't you tell about my accent? I'm a, I other slash is asking you. No, believe it or not. <laughs> that, was, that was actually Link. <laughs> I feel like Irish Lass's accent has been, if anything, mildly like Transylvanian. <laughs> Give me are a you, second, Dracula. Are you looking for the glow? <laughs> I'm looking for the glow, Gary Oldman. <laughs> Please slow down. <laughs> I would like to find the glow. <laughs> Little two count Chocula. <laughs> One, two, three parts of the glow. You have so much glow in here, girl. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just glitter. I'm fabulous. <laughs> well, I mean, do you know what we would be looking for when the glow? No. Yeah. I'm new at this, Benji. I look, uh, but I'm gonna poke around. Do we know? Do you know anyone that has it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you know they have it, let, let's go look there. Well, I have it. What? I have it. I have the glow. It's like a little fish glow. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can have a little fish glow as a treat. 
<laughs> Got all my steps in today. Got a little fish glow. What? <laughs> I have the glow. I make that expression like that so <laughs> at least once a session. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have the glow. It's in there to block any other glow. Oh. Well, I want some. And to potentially bring care. back my dead mother possibly later if yeah, you, get, you guys are blowing my mind. Yeah. I don't think we went into this much detail about how you got the glow, which is why I'm kind of like, yeah. What are we looking for? Well, I mean, I can look for something that's, I guess, that's like what it is in my subspace. Okay. Sure. Well, what did she do when she put it in your head? I don't remember. I was dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's your excuse for everything. <laughs> I don't know. I was dead. I was what do you dead. want? From me? Give me a break. <laughs> I've been back to life for a day. Back <laughs> off. For like 45 minutes, actually. Don't even talk to me until I've had my coffee. <laughs> but you're only dead for like five minutes. So it's, it's, like it's like flatliners. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, but I've been... If the glow is what took Nate away from me, then that is that is my that's my enemy number one. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's really... It's tricky, right? Because at first I was like, it's really bad. And then it's like, well, and then my aunt, Kenny's mom, used it for what I consider to be good. Because essentially she put the glow in my subspace so that it occupies the glow slot. Well, can she give it to me? I mean, getting to her her is difficult. She's dead. (laughs) I died. (laughs) So I could find Nate somewhere then? Well, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, she doesn't know what happened. Like, she feels like she lost her body and, like, her soul was just kind of, like, in a last-ditch effort, she, you know, went into her subspace and it, like, threw her spirit just out. So Nate's soul could be somewhere. He could he could be somewhere. I mean, he could be. I don't know. I mean, it just really depends on how powerful he was. My mom was very gifted subspace user, and in a last ditch effort, like he said, he she sort of hurled herself into the void, her consciousness just beyond subspace, and mm. and therefore. You know, well, I, it's it's possible. We just I don't know. I don't want you to get your hopes up. How you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 exactly. They're up. So well, no, I bring them back. I mean, well, I mean, if I if I can find him, if it's possible, I want to find out and take care of this glow, and I want to find this place beyond subspace. Well, hey, those are two things that I'm also very interested in. Okay, so we I think I'm in. My theory, whether it's true or not, is that family ties are what brought. Lem to my mother after he after his soul left his body Hi, I'm Lem, by the way. We've, oh, yeah, yeah, I called you. Yeah. Nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> we feel, I, I feel like that, that, that family tie, that bond, is what d- sort of magnetically drew him in. Oh, yeah. There. I've got that. So, you know, I just he feel like... He was my the, soul mate, I feel so like the only thing I've got that, that... The only way to experiment with that that I know of is for you to Die. So, you know, maybe till we've had a chance to investigate a little more into how this is happening, mm. we'd be careful. Okay, but there's, hey, that's something. I'll yeah. take it. Enlightening. Thank you. You're welcome. But we still have to fight a wolf. Yeah, but that's going to be a little while. A couple days. You so. guys have like a video game quest log or what else do we got to do? We got to fight the wolf? Kind of. I got to, I'm going to experiment with like getting rid of the glow. I've never done it before. So. But Do you suppo- gonna take it out of you? Suppo- no, that's staying. Hmm. Because it's it's there to block other it's there to block other glow. Because you can only have so much glow in your subspace. Hmm. So like, so yeah, my aunt Kenny's mom she helped me out by putting like just a little baby, just a little baby glow in there, just to kind of block any other glow from going in. Okay, so that's what, the plan. So what is the glow? Uh, it's like um. It's kind of like an impulse. It's like an impulse that somebody implants in your subspace. It's like an idea or a way of thinking that's put into your mind by somebody else so they could fundamentally change the way you 
behave or the way you think based on what their idea, what the idea is that they put in your head. Regardless of whether it's something you would or wouldn't normally do, that takes the, the stronger it is, the more that's in there, the more precedence it takes over your personal decisions. And fighting it causes you to feel physical pain and to be sick. And you know, her, his his friend Jill is pretty sick with it. She tried to go against her the glow that was implanted in her a couple of times in our presence, and it did not bode well for her. She got really ill. It could kill you. And it, yeah, it could definitely kill you if you fight too hard. So, so Nate was given a death sentence. Yes. It was going to Jazzadrun where he could die or not go into Jazzadrun and he was die. Either, he was either given Possibly. a death sentence or acquired one through repeated, you know, going in and out of Jazzadrun over and over again could have could have impacted him in that way. That place is powerful. It's so deadly. Not, but also only certain, certain people can do this glow. Only there are there are rare individuals that can willfully and purposely implant it into someone else's mind. But your mother can do it. But she's somewhere very far away. Yeah, she's out of she's n- nowhere near reality right now. Like, so do you as know, we know? Is it. there anyone else? Do you know of anyone else that can do this? Well, possibly his brother. Or his father, I'm not sure. We're, yeah. We think possibly his father might have that power, but his father's sort of our enemy right now. Uh, I think it goes beyond right now. I think that's. Uh, I think that line's pretty much drawn. I'm gonna give him. Benef- yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. Like, I, I, you can't give him the benefit of the doubt. The permanent sort but, of. Yeah. But so we'll where, see. where's your brother? Uh, in Western Kentucky, where we just came from. So I want to go see him. But he's he's also yeah, me too. He's also oh, kind cool. of a bad guy. So to be clear, we well, think I'm, I'm a bad girl. So let's let's yeah, you let's sold go meet your brother. Grapes. I yeah. know, but fuck it. <laughs> but the thing is, <laughs> it's insane. A hundred dollars for a grape. Yo, try no. one. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like now I don't know if my siblings are actually bad. I we, like, we don't know. A that day ago, I would have told you that the they were, yeah. but now I now I don't know because. I think that my dad just put glow in each of them, and then by using your brother, I don't know. I don't know if he did it or if if my bro- my brother Ignatius did it. Ign- my brother Ignatius has some kind of link to the glow being in my friend Jill, and um, so I don't. So I don't know. So I'm, I'd like to go, but you can get it out. In theory, I I could get it out. I've never done it before. And I died. Keep that in mind. Through sheer unluckiness, hey, you came back. I died. That's even more impressive. Well, they got me anybody back. can die. They got came me. Back. They got me back. Well, that's even I more. Did. You guys went. That's like uh, that's like some uh, Greek mythology shit. Go drag your friend back out of hell. It is a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But my point is, I love, I love this optimism and this enthusiasm. That's all I got. I love it. But Ignatius Bruford, we know he is someone who can work with the globe. We don't know that, we don't but know we that. suspect it highly. Yeah, I don't want to lie to you. Okay, well, I'll go find out for sure. Come with us. Let's go. Um, but before we go, and I'll just kind of like look at like her and uh, Blake and Laura Beth. There, I have something. Uh, when I got the supposedly when I got the power to remove the glow, I was given something else. That I couldn't use, and I'll pull out the Huckleberry. Um, yeah, they both kind of. Well, Blake doesn't look at it. Blake just. Uh huh. <laughs> well, we're in her subspace, so. <laughs> oh yeah, you're yeah, in the can see. see. Yeah. Nice. Like, Whoa, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as we know, we don't really. I mean, this is this is a thing that is that can be used by anyone, and you both seem to really want to help and have help. What does it do? Uh, well, it allows you to <clears throat> do things. Stall, stall. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel- Blind! <laughs> <laughs> Wield your subspace powers in a way that helps protect your allies. Yeah, what White Power Benji said. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Laura Beth's like, it's really bad. <laughs> Be careful, 
Carl. <laughs> You're a redheaded Irish. I bet, he, I, bet I bet he's a pedophile. He's not. No. But he knows one. Yeah, here. Here, take this flyer. Why do you just carry those around? It's a warning for people. I'm doing my civic duty. Stop complaining. God. Um, we saw, Josh and I saw a real life in person. A poster? No, a poster at the park with the guy's face on it and like saying like, it was a screenshot of where he had been charged with something and his picture and like a picture of the place where he worked. Was this it, in Paducah? It was in Calvert City. <gasps> remember a, the name? There is a pedophile park in, in Calvert City. What? <laughs> like a trailer park where like all the sex offenders stay. If you look on Megan's list, you'll see a whole bunch of red dots over here in this trailer park in Calvert City. So they're far enough from all the schools and playgrounds mm-hmm. there. I don't remember the guy's name off the top of my head. <laughs> but it was like it was like Luke. It was a homemade Luke. sign. Yeah. It was like you know, like in Comic Sans. Like I don't. It, what is, <laughs> so the children will read it. Perfect. Smart. <laughs> it didn't say. It didn't say like pedophile, or it didn't say sex pest, but something like <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Band name <laughs> sex pest. Sex pest. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I love it. I love it. Look we'll, at Laura Beth. No, I don't. We'll, I don't. We'll no, that, we can no, put that to no. a vote later. <laughs> I don't think I want... We won't be coming to any of the yeah. Sex Pest shows. Thank you very much. Yeah, I don't think I want that associated <laughs> as a that tadpog thing. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see that. Google nope. Sex Pest and tadpog. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> not Sex Pest. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> done. Definitely, Sold. definitely not. Definitely not sex <laughs> Well, because uh, Irish last takes it and holds it. Um, I've never been very good at making friends, I'll be perfectly honest. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be perfectly honest, I'm a little nervous with you handling that. Just because, <laughs> you know. Oh, she throws it. Oh, no, really? She throws I'm... it to Blake. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you handle it. Like, yeah. <laughs> and he reaches over and catches it. Oh. <laughs> From years of being blind, he doesn't have the eye hand coordination. <laughs> <laughs> Unintentionally hacky sacks it as he stumbles around the room, tripping over grapes. <laughs> that was a hundred dollar grape, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, as soon as he catches it and he absorbs it. Oh, oh I did what what I do? You're you're our huckleberry. Our huckleberry. <laughs> That's a cool name. I know, right? I almost chose it just because of the name. It's almost like, I feel like I came up with it. Blake actually helped me come up with a name for it. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Oh, okay. Huh. Thank you. Thank you. I can open doors and make friends really well? That seems really cool to me. Okay, all right. (laughs) I mean, I thought I would totally want to do that, but, you know, getting rid of the glow seems like a pretty big deal, too, Mm. so... And fish is awesome. Fish is all right. <laughs> <laughs> fried fish is not that bad. If it's if it's fried, it's okay. Don't go too far. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, well, I'm. I want to go meet your brother. Okay. Yeah, she stands up. Um, uh, are you guys gonna make doors? Got a door Ooh. out there. Yeah. Okay. Ready to go. Excellent. Let's do this. Okay. Blake. Um. Uh, isn't he like bad? I mean, yes, but again, I'm not sure if it's because of the glow or not. Well, I think we should get on the same page on what our goal is here. Okay. I think this is a horrible idea, but, gonna... I'm, but I'm willing to let it play out. But I think taking her in her state of pissed off in this to your brother when you're going to try to have a calm conversation to figure out what's going on I mean, I didn't is going to be I'm, hilarious. I'm just going to beat the shot out of her. <laughs> That's all I'm going to do. And I kind of want to see that. I don't know where you got the idea we were going to have a nice calm conversation <laughs> with Ignatius. Oh, wow. I feel like that was that was a you thing, <laughs> oh, not, okay. a, not a limb thing. <laughs> okay, well, I thought maybe... Qu- quit, quit being a it's 2000. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, quit, be- <laughs> <laughs> quit being a, I'm trying to come up with an Irish accent way to play pussy. 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 Stop being such a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, hey, I'm fine jumping to a boss battle right now. Good <laughs> shit. Let's go. Well, I have a, I have a suggestion. You please. I, I don't know how this works, but if, if, what if we were to approach and attempt to heal Jill first? Would that provide? <laughs> you think that might provide us? Some sort of insight into where it originated. I don't. I don't. I don't know how the healing process works, but yeah, could, I want to get the insight from somewhere else first. Yeah, well, I mean, I know you don't want to like experiment on because I think she's her. got it real bad. Yeah. Well, which is why I was suggesting we do a sweep of your subspace to figure out like where do we need to be looking in subspace to find whatever this is. Yeah, you're gonna leave yours there, but if we can find out how it's there, is it hidden? Is it in a place? Is it? Yeah. If we don't want to screw around, I mean, Ignatius isn't going to let us just play around in his, in his subspace. Well, that's we what she's get... here for. <laughs> I want to play around in his subspace. Class. Well, he's also protected his, by Balthazar, his... right? Because Flesh Aurora space. said she couldn't get through. Yeah. Um, Who's I, Aurora? Uh, Aurora is my mom. She lives in my subspace because she's... Is she dead? I mean, yeah. I guess, kind of, sort of. So bo- I mean, both your mothers are gone. One lives in your head, and the other lives way, way out there. With a war god, yeah. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. This about sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Like Ares or Mars? Mm, maybe a little from column A, a little from column B. I don't know. But like, uh, Kind of like the kid from Jerry Maguire a little bit. Oh, okay. Human head weighs eight pounds. Yeah, yeah. That one. Okay. Nailed it. <laughs> Got it in one. That's but the thing that doesn't I bet he'll look weird as an adult. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. Time will tell, There's I suppose. There's only a way, a way we can find out. Oh, well. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Benji, I think we should go poke around in, in my head and see what the glow looks like. I do think that it would be a lot of... I think you'd be really help, it would be really helpful to have you there irish lass but you can call me abby abby but kind of worried about your safety a little bit because you see she starts see she has her hair up in in some it's down but it's up in some braids and see she starts undoing it and as she un pulls everything out of it you see it lights on like neon fire super bright red like a soul weapon and you see she whips it around and as she points her head you see it's like a whip and you see a fiery crack wherever it lands i'll be fine i love that it's she, like kabuki she can ball fire. that's my favorite game oh it's a good one yeah i'm surprised to hear that i don't oh i love it yeah it's a really good one i like that hair a lot but um okay if you're if you insist on coming alone then you can't come to my house we have to lure ignatius somewhere else oh perfect okay Okay, I just don't want anything to happen to you because if something happens to you, then no one will ever find Nate. Keep that in mind. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you that if you're not careful. Okay. All right. That makes a certain amount of sense. Unless she has to die to find Nate. In which case. Oh, Kamikaze. All right. <laughs> Kenny, where's your dad? Where's your dad? Where are they all? I can throw them at me. <laughs> See, we'll take it. We'll, we'll we'll figure that out. But see, I think Blake Benji's... just well, okay. Um, I'm most effective in subspace, and if Ignatius can throw on the glow, we don't want him in anybody's subspace. So maybe I won't go. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, I'm just gonna do some of this, and he just kind of throw waves his staff in the air. <laughs> I mean, be our guy in the chair. Mm-hmm. I okay. Can, yeah, I could be your oracle. That's a thing in 2000, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Well, why don't we why don't we take a quick jaunt over to your subspace, see what we can find, and then sure. go from there. Okay. It's inoxorably linked with mine, so I suppose we can open the door and then use my before we cross back into Paducah, kind of mm-hmm. sidestep into yours. I'm all for that. That's kind of your your specialty. So it's a thing, right? He and I have our subspaces are somewhat intertwined. Oh yeah, they I, totally are. So. Before we exit the door, we go in the door, but don't come out yet, and we can get into his subspace and do the looking that we're looking to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we can do that. But yeah. you guys are all connected to Blake <clears throat> and Irish Lass. Oh, so we can just go there from right here. Because you've been in their in their subspaces, so you're connected. Okay. We don't have to go back out to the door. We can just now jump over. Awesome. 
I'll make a door. Make a subspace power check. Crap. But it's is it easier when you're in subspace? Yeah, I'd say that's to open to open a door to your own subspace like that, like DC ten. Mm. Can I have some help? Yeah, I got you. No, I don't. <laughs> Blake assisted. Thanks, Blake. No. <laughs> Yeah, that is a 15. Yeah, because you... And then just like Chrono Trigger, just... A two-star door spins into existence. It's so hard. You made it look easy. Thanks. It's really hard to do, though. Okay, I'll open the door. Uh, We we all... You want us all to go in? I mean, yeah. All right. Yes, she goes... Everyone gets up and starts and files in. And then as soon as you all walk in, you see a blue light spin down and Aurora appears. Hey, Mom. Hi. Wow, this is a lot of people. Yeah. Um, this is Abby. Abby, this is um, my mom, Aurora. Ah, well, okay. They're, they're nice to meet you, ma'am. She has awesome hair. She does, yeah. Um, so is your mom. And this is uh, Blake and Laura Beth. Because, yeah, Blake's just Jordy LaForge going like crazy back and forth. Wow. And Lord Beth still looks thoroughly freaked out. <laughs> Have I seen, like, are you a ghost? Have I seen multiple ghosts? I went from zero to two ghosts in like an hour. It's a lot of ghosts. Wow. Okay. I'm going to find. <laughs> uh, so a lot has transpired. I don't know how much you already know about that. I don't... Okay. Some, yeah. I could see... Once you were gone, I couldn't see you. Okay. But since you've been back, you know, I could see some things. Okay. But, do you but I've, heard, I've heard you talk, so I know I know you saw Amy. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that. Okay. I just heard you talk about it. I didn't get to see that. I would have loved to have seen that. Um, I... Th- we're, yeah, I I really wanted her to come back, and she really wanted to come back, um, but we're going to have to figure out a way to do that. Yeah, I guess we can't. Without a body to go back to, we're in the joined subconscious. Yes. <clears throat> okay, and you have some of her glow? I do. Have you noticed it anywhere? <laughs> I just heard you. Well, no. I, okay. I think I'm looking for it. Uh, it should be in the deepest parts of your subspace. Okay. That's where it's most effective. Okay. Well, Benji had the good idea that we find it so that we know what we're looking for. Well, you know that. You heard all that. Mm-hmm. So, so we're here to find it. Uh, well, no offense. Do you want me to go or us to go? Because taking somebody to the deepest parts of your... Not that I don't trust anybody, but that's a very vulnerable place. Well, that's okay. I mean... You know. I'll go with you. Okay. I mean, I think everybody here is fine. I mean, okay. No. <laughs> trying to be diplomatic, but <laughs> like I don't trust myself to go, but if you're cool, I'm cool. I think that it's I think that your mom is right. It's probably really personal and that most of us should not. Okay. Okay. All right. So then the three of us will go. That's you, probably the most. You me and Kenny? Family. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Um you guys going to be okay? Here, yeah. Can you like summon a ping pong table? Do you need anything? (laughs) Boom, ping pong table. Boom. There's two paddles. Even (laughs) (laughs) Blake grabs one. Let's go. Let's do this. (laughs) (laughs) I'll make another ping pong table. (laughs) Lord Ben's just like, yeah, he's really competitive. He's gonna do this a lot. I'll summon. I'll summon a table full of grapes (laughs) and all kinds of vegan vegan snacks for you. Grapes work. So basically, looks like she. So the three of you, you see them, looks like they accelerate far away very quickly. So if you guys just travel deeper into your subspace. Um, but they really fell for that? <laughs> <laughs> Start placing glow everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so what would, what would Lim's safe space look like? Um, oh, boy, I don't know. Um, it probably looked like, I mean, he's probably needed a safe space for a really long time. So it probably even looks like um, like a children's book, like something he would take comfort in when he was a child. Maybe like um, kind of looks like the maybe the drawings from like um, where the wild things are. Maybe okay. Some, maybe something like that. You know, kind of looks like that island or whatever. You know, but it's all like 
drawn. It doesn't look real. It's like, you know, you're standing on illustrations, mm-hmm. essentially. So, yeah, it's not long before then you guys would find a, like, a circular wooden door animated style look where it's, like, very obvious wood, big circle, knob. She's like, okay, well, it's probably in here somewhere then. All right. I haven't been here in a little while. Yeah, you usually don't unless you really need to. Uh, I'll open the door. And when you yeah, open it up, it immediately fills full of of jungle. It's just, just like the wild things are, where everything looks kind of 2D-ish. The colors, the animation. Uh, I would say there might even be the wild things roaming around. Or would Lim be a dinosaur kid? I mean, probably. So probably anything you would have enjoyed that made you happy can be found here if you look hard enough for it. Okay. Uh, where, because you guys, as you start walking around, but even though it's the jungle, it almost seems like the stuff moves out of the way for you. You don't have to, like, move and, or fight anything as you go through. It just it makes its own path for you. Uh, I'm druid. To, I guess till you eventually come out to the shoreline and then off in the distance, you can see an island way out there from the water. It looks like there's a light, like a lighthouse back there on it. Head towards that. I mean, does that look familiar? I mean, does it look like it's been there before, or is it... I mean... Uh, yeah, that will probably look somewhat new. Okay. So then you guys are on, on the... I think the, what they're on a boat at one point and where the wild things are. I think so. Like an it's, animated, it's, an animated it's boat a going back and forth. Because as soon as you sort of step out on it, it draws itself into existence. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as you step on it, and then it just starts going that way, sort of comic like the Six Flags ship that just goes back and forth Mm -hmm. as you make your way there. And the the sea that looks like cardboard arches just kind of going up and down and up and down. I feel like we're all kids' drawings with, like, stick hands and stuff, (laughs) smiling and riding on the boat. Like yeah, you hear something rolling around somewhere in the floor of the boat, and you see it rolls over to hit your foot, and it's a purple crayon. Oh. Harold knows that. <laughs> and then you guys, you pull up, and you are you dock, and then the ship disappears, and you're on the small island, and you see trees and things all around, light coming through it. So she just motions, this is, this is for you, so. All right. Uh, I mean, I'll head towards that. That lighthouse. Yeah. So as you as you go forward, and then there's now now you get to a lighthouse and it looks now it doesn't look drawn. Mm. It looks old and weathered, and that's that gives that gives Aurora pause. Do you? I, I I'm sure I never took you here. There's always a lighthouse, mom. There's there is there's always a lighthouse. <laughs> but I this is this is from up north. This is from when Amy and I were kids. Oh, so I you guess, recognize this. I guess it makes sense, yes. <laughs> I it's, see. It's, she and I would play around one of these. It does make sense that she would use this. Okay, well, so she she goes and opens up this door. Okay, let's go up. Yeah. And you guys climb a long way until you come to the, the... Open up a door at the top and you see what looks like a bright golden skill crystal from Final Fantasy Tactics. Mm. It's like it's in the middle emitting a super bright light. And then once you guys walk in and look at it, then you see something in it. And you see it looks pressing up against the glass. You see Amy. Is this a conscious apparition of Amy or is this like a reflection of her, a part of her? Well, you see, it moves over to the edge of the crystal, and it looks at both of you. Wow, I didn't think this would happen. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Hi. Mom. Hi. And she, yeah, she's got her <laughs> hands up against the crystal. Yeah, I'm there. Wow. <laughs> you did say you leave a piece of yourself, right? Yeah, yeah. you're right. This, you literally do. I literally left a piece of myself. I mean, where I've put the glow in before, I don't remember it being like this. So I don't know if it happens... Because she, you see, she closes her eyes. Yeah, I can still see everything over there. Oh, so you're in both places at once. Yeah. Neat. Wow, okay. Huh. She looks like she like, leans up against the side of the crystal. 
So how cool. you been? <laughs> you, you couldn't see here before? Uh, no, I just feel like there wasn't, I don't know. I guess I was just here. But once you guys came, I Focus. came to attention. Interesting. Okay. And she, like, Aurora comes up and puts her hands on the glass, and she does the same thing. Huh. Rory. And you see they both start crying. Wow, okay. Huh. Well, I guess that begs the question, then. What do you want to do? I I feel like we... I mean, for right now, I feel like we did what we came to do. We're trying to get a sense of where the glow lives within someone's subspace mm-hmm. to better understand how to help for Lim to help someone it, who's affected by it. And I, it I, can I can't exist anywhere in their subspace. Uh, I've experimented with that, but it's, if you place it just haphazardly, it's, it's much easier to ignore. You put it in the deepest part and it's going to be a lot stronger. Well, I couldn't help but notice that, you know, given the description of how a slight, bit of glow was placed in limb Mm -hmm. just this minor tiny little insignificant suggestion is glowing this brightly I can only imagine a stronger impulse being implanted and how tough that might be to overcome and you know and maybe way easier to notice true yeah yeah we did kind of have to actively hunt this down Mm -hmm. you know like we had to make our way to it Mm -hmm. as opposed to you know in in jill's case maybe we're looking at it's like bright as the sun in there you know what i mean could be you know well here's what i'm curious about Mm. what if you take me out i thought about that but i like the original idea yeah, I don't want you to get hurt. Uh, yeah, no, this, I think this is... And I guess I'm always here. I really like this, actually. Yeah. And fish is all right. As long as it's uh, fried. Fuck, fuck I, fish I did too bad. good of a job. <laughs> 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 yeah, your mom looks at you, really? I guess. You would never eat that as a baby. I know. I think as much as I would like... I tried to puree Captain D's all the time, <laughs> and you refused it. I believe <laughs> it. I'd mix it with Pepsi, and you just wouldn't take it. Did now you that's try Surge? <laughs> I think... Under the circumstances, I'd like nothing more than to try to bring you out. Mm-hmm. However, until we've kind of checked off some boxes on our list, it might be better to leave you here for now until okay. we know it's safe for both Lem and you. And you can always talk to her. You know? You're always here. So, you know, at least I know I have a place I can come and see you with Lem's permission, of course. Well, I was about to. I was about to ask mom if she'd make a tunnel or something. I mean, I don't know. For you to use if you want to come visit her. Well, now that, yeah, now that your your subspace is interconnect, and now that you've been here, and if you want him here, yeah, you should of course, be able to come here. Okay, cool. Well, I think for now that's best because we don't know what's going to happen if we try to bring you out, either to you or to Lim, mm-hmm. and we've got some pretty pressing business to take care of his friend jill is super sick we need to help her and we've got okay. we've got a battle coming uh with some pretty powerful people and i think we just need all the caution we can muster at this point yeah and you see amy stops and she looks behind her what, what? okay and you see she stops she looks out and then looks like her eyes close for a second when they open back up her facial expression changes <sighs> Possible husband. This is interesting. Who does that? Who does that sound Speccio's like? Specchio's voice. Coming okay. <laughs> <out of her laughs> oh, you're talking to me. Of course. Oh, we talked about this before you left. Yeah, but I thought that. Eventually, if this jail thing doesn't work out. Right. I'm kind of set on that, though. For at least for. The, you are very uh, handsome. Are you married? He's not. No. <laughs> I may be in the market for the spouse. I'm the war god Specchio. Heard about you, Speccio. Yes. Nice, nice to meet you there. Well, yeah. Good to meet you as well. Well, uh, no offense, I got my eye on this redhead back here. You should with the hair. <laughs> well, I may be what is what the, Amy. What do they call it? And you see, it switches back to Amy. Speccio. What do they call it? Polyamory. Yes, I am polyamorous. I will marry the both of you. Is that a musical? 
<laughs> Amy, is this a music? No, Specky. <laughs> this, I don't, you see, she eventually, okay, well, that's a thing we can do. So I'm not going to worry about that for a second. What the? That was like Beetlejuice. <laughs> I think Speccio yeah, might I think Speccio might be <laughs> Beetlejuice. <laughs> I'm just saying. Speccio, Speccio, Speccio. <laughs> All right, well, I guess if you're going to go after the glow, I think what Speccio was originally going to get at before he derailed himself would be I don't think I don't think everyone is going to be like this. I I don't want to hurt you or guard or guard this space. Right. I bet if you find the glow somewhere else, it won't just be a friendly version of the glow worm. Yeah, I kind of, I I kind of assume that, but yeah. it's good. It's good to receive that information. Like I, I yeah, I bet it'll be a expert. boss battle like every time. If I'm gonna, if that, if I'm gonna like play, use my RPG brain, right? Uh, yeah, same, <laughs> and same. Could you conjure me a Super Nintendo? Uh, in the crystal? Yeah, sure. See if you can. I can try. I will try. <laughs> Make a subspace power check DC 10. And Amy, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'll do it. There you go. I'm not oh. very good at that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it, it. The, whole, the whole thing <laughs> pops up in the crystal. Oh, okay. All right. I'll just, I'm good. <laughs> it's fine. And hopefully maybe I can still watch movies in here. Okay. Well, it's whatever. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all. That's all. That's all your, oh. your, your guy there. He, right. She looks at you. You see, she tries very, very hard. She holds out Rory, and she she looks at Aurora. Oh, and she she moves her hand, and your shirt changes to that old um, Van Halen T-shirt that you used to wear that has the holes in the paint that she has on. Nice, cool. This goes so good with my duster. Okay, well, I'll be here then. I'm pretty pretty happy. Pretty happy this worked out the way it did. Me too. I'll be here too. It's well. very cool. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Thank you. And I guess if you need any knowledge that the war god might have, I can ask him <laughs> since I'm over there too. <laughs> oh. Well, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about that. <laughs> he he is intelligent. He knows a lot of old things. So, hmm. exactly when will Lavos <laughs> <laughs> appear on earth? So I guess we got what we came for. Yes. But knowledge. That Lavos will attack in 1999. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> last year. Last year. That Lavos will Lavos attack, attack last, last year. year. That was weird. <laughs> my, remember when my, Lavos brain, attacked. my brain did not like that at all. <laughs> it took out ginger pickles. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened to ginger pickles. <laughs> 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 the pickle. <laughs> All right, well, let's let's head back. Head Maybe back. see if we can um, make our way towards uh, writing this Jill wrong. Yeah, I like that. I like that as our next quest. If you're gonna write Jill, shouldn't you do it right? I don't understand. <laughs> I say writing <laughs> this Jill wrong. So then you guys can make it back to. Prime prime subspace where everybody is playing ping pong and eating grapes. It's Prime Day in subspace. Hello. Wait, make I'm a doing, doing everything I can to beat Blake. Just. Make a dex check. God, I'm gonna spend a blue chip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a ten. No, oh, he he trounces you the first game. Oh wow, Something. Blake. <laughs> That was all. That was all yeah. right. And I'm not. I'm fucking blind too. Well, Damn. not right now. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I am blind here. He just starts waving the paddle around <laughs> aimlessly. Man, you're not yeah. daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> Who says? <laughs> don't don't think you get past. I'm me. subspace daredevil. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say you're not subspace daredevil. <laughs> I just said you're not I daredevil. But I am subspace. I agree. I'm like Wood, subspace you, daredevil. You are subspace daredevil. <laughs> I'm watching him. Very very, very carefully throughout the game. <laughs> 15? Oh, he... It's closer, but he beats you again. Okay, do I see him? He's not using subspace powers He's or anything? He's not. He's, I rolled a 16. Oh, <laughs> damn. Here, play one, one more game. Ah, 21. Uh, you won that one. He's like, best out of three. I, I mean, won. you did. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 Magway. I won. Don't worry about it. So, how'd that go? 
It went pretty well. Um, it looked like it looked like a the glow was a lighthouse, but that's because of my aunt's personality, her experiences. Uh, but I don't think we're gonna have a problem finding any glow. I think I. It was. We, we think in a certain in a situation like, for example, with Jill, it's going to be very, very apparent. It wasn't. It, it's not looking like looking for a key in Jazz's room. No, we yeah, don't have to look. For, given that we didn't have terribly a lot of trouble finding a relatively minor glow within Lim's subspace, within his kind of safe place, uh, that it, was that was easy to find. With it being worse. I think it's going to be very apparent. See, Aurora says, though, granted, we, I did assume the deepest part of subspace, and we have the right. person who to, could take us directly to it. Right. It will probably not be the same way going into someone from the outside without them being a part of sure. it and trying to find Especially it. Especially someone who's not naturally a subspace user. Yeah. So. It may be dangerous and tough to do, but it's also not like trying to make a you know, DC 30 investigation check mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's true. A cheap <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. It's like, we're not looking for a needle in a haystack. We're just, I mean, if you know, I mean, do you know Jill on a deeply personal level? Yeah. Lim. Uh, I mean, we hang out sometimes. I mean, if her subconscious trusts you, maybe it'll be easier. Or if you know things we could try to pull up and look for. I think it, I think her subconscious would trust me. Yeah. Or take her take her out on a date, buy her some flowers, get her to tell you her innermost secrets. Buy her flowers? Girls like that. Maybe they don't, maybe not all of them. Well, especially well, considering that Jill's glow is centered around being loyal and faithful to her boyfriend, that, Scott. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was going to okay. say. Like, it's probably, she's probably got somewhere in her subspace that's sort of dedicated to Scott, whether she likes oh, it or yeah. not. Oh, yeah. So, finding, Absolutely. trying to we take just, her out on a date and romance her is probably going to trigger her response of, I've got to get back to Scott. Right. You but know. see, I'm thinking that if we deal with Ignatius, who we think put he, the glow he, he in the first place. At least had a hand in it. Yeah. Then we can maybe weaken that glow. Or, or, I mean, well, and I can do experimentation on him and not chill. What What if just well, we can't get in Ignatius' subspace because Balthazar has it protected. Because yeah, I, I haven't it. been able to get into it. That's but true. Let me ask you this: What happens when somebody who has somebody else's glow implanted in them dies? So, in other words, if you were to actually die, not you, your sister were to actually die with this in his subspace, what would happen to him? The subspace it it remains. Hmm. But it doesn't like wouldn't kill him or anything. No, but it would. So the suggestion becomes a part of him at that point. That sounds real bad. Well, I guess that's my <laughs> point too. Is like if if we if we fuck things up with Ignatius, right. there's going to be no saving Jill. At the, well, I mean right. maybe. Fine, let's do Jill first, and then I want to talk to Ignatius. <laughs> that begs the question: How do we get into Jill's subspace? I'll have to make a tunnel. She'll have to tunnel you, yeah. in, and I know your limb is, it's kind of a thing with you about, this is, it's kind of gross, as you put it, you know, to sort of implant ourselves into someone else's subspace without their knowledge. Yeah. Well, let me just talk to her about it. Yeah, but then Ignatius will know we're looking for it, because presumably he could see what's going on. Right. I think it's going, I think he's going to know, I think it's just going to let him know earlier. Which I mean does stink, but but you're wanting to go. We we should confront. Do you think we should confront him? I mean, directly I, I, about it. Originally, and, I did, but you know, Benji brings up a really good point that his subspace is guarded. There's no way that we could, you know, enter Ignatius's subspace currently. So I mean, it does seem like Jill's the right route. Yeah, I mean, um, we you, we could approach him in. And not in, in subspace, in, in but the then again, space, but, but that could go wrong pretty quick. Right. And and I already have, in a way, confronted him or asked him about it. But, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I know that strategically, and I'm sure that Specchio himself would probably even say, don't talk to Jill about this, but I'd, I'd really like to talk to Jill about this before we go in her subspace. Why don't you go talk to Jill and... 
Well, we can sidestep into back into mine and then out the Paducah door. Yeah. And come out of subspace altogether. And okay. then at this point, you're driving the bus, Lim. What what do you want to do? You want to talk, go see if we can find Jill and talk to her first? Yeah, I'm just I just want to talk to Jill and just uh, you know get some kind of at least let her know what's going on because I mean it's her soul essentially that you know right. I, I, it's I don't think it's right to leave her out of it and just exactly. make all make all these decisions and obviously she's under the influence of the glow so you know. Well, we should take that. Speaking of glow, as we come out of the portal, our ring's still not glowing. No, you're not glowing. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're in Ireland now. Oh, you mean back we're in back Vaduca. in Viduca now. Oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm assuming we're going out the door that I made earlier. I, I'm going to buy um, some alcohol from Beef O'Brady's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like uh, some whiskey. One some alcohol, Beef please. Whiskey. Beef O'Brady's brand yes. Irish whiskey. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll splurge. <laughs> Do you have anything? Top shelf. Nope. <laughs> okay, that's it, huh? Top shelf, bottom shelf. It's all Beef O'Brady's <laughs> brand Irish whiskey. Well, never mind. Band name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine, I'll take it. <laughs> it tastes like whiskey and au jus sauce. <laughs> do, you, mix together. do you accept an um, uh, American dollar? No one does. I'll accept a gold coin, though. Oh, right. right. How about a nickel? <laughs> <laughs> that thing we slit our mother's throats for? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> no, yeah, money... It's conveniently, money spins the same the whole way around in this game. Here we go. Great. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to buy one uh, Beef O'Brady whiskey. How much is that? <laughs> one silver. Okay. Jill, I brought you a really nice present <laughs> from Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to drink this entire bottle, and then I have some questions. <laughs> well, I imagine it was just like, on the rocks, like in a, <laughs> oh. in, in a glass. Uh, I'm gonna want to. I want this glass too. So here's an extra silver. Okay, thanks. <laughs> sure. Beef O'Brady's brand <laughs> glass, etched, <laughs> etched with Beef O'Brady's. <laughs> that is fancy. Uh, that's that's how we do it. Irish Beef O'Brady's. Wow. Is Blue. all of Ireland That's how we got nice this awesome this? real estate in the very center of Dublin. <laughs> Lim is now just Julius from Trailer Park Boys constantly walking around with a little cup of alcohol. And a breathalyzer. You could be vegan Randy. And yeah. Randy Bo Bandy. <laughs> he was just in Louisville doing like a show not was long he really? ago. Oh, yeah. Damn. He had like the, the some, something burger tour. He was going around and he was in Louisville. I thought, man, I would fucking love to go to that. As you guys are leaving, uh, Abby. Looks like she pulls you aside, Liz. Right. So they're like, they're not good guys, right? They're good guys. They ever like slapped your ass or anything? And they're uh, sometimes they say things that are questionable, but overall they're good. Oh, it's just men, I guess. Mm-mm. Okay, I'll trust you. Sometimes they make fun of the fact that I killed a guy with a fucking brick. <laughs> <laughs> they did call me Double D for like a week. <laughs> okay, so you guys exit. Subspace with the plan of now going to talk to Amy, not Amy, to Jill. Yeah, I don't think we all need to go to talk to Jill. It might be a little overwhelming. Yeah, I think Lim <laughs> should go talk to Jill. We can do whatever, but that needs to be his thing because she. This is gonna be weird as shit coming from him. Like if the three of well, I'm sorry, seven of we us or whatever at this point <laughs> maybe, show up. Like, maybe Lim should not go by himself because we don't know exactly what has been implanted. In her brain. Oh, so no, I she mean, might he have some sort of like Manchurian candidate no. protocol. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, yeah, Stuff I get wives. Well, yeah, I mean, he's not going to go into her subspace yet. But Bruce even Fordian talking protocol. to her, we don't know. We don't know what she's been programmed to do. So Ugh. execute <laughs> order 66. I mean, you're right, but that's, ugh, I don't like that. I don't like thinking about so that. So as you guys are going to leave, that's when you hear a loud booming sneeze. Bless you. Oh, no. And then there's a huge gust of wind oh, that follows fuck. it. <laughs> and you see Blake, Laura Beth, and Irish Lass all get pushed through the door of subspace and it closes. And then you hear a... 
Man, you guys have changed a lot. I wonder how much. Don't worry, I brought a friend. Mm. <laughs> and as you turn around, we'll close. We'll end the session there. <laughs> Fucking shoot <Chupon. laughs> As soon as you said sneeze, oh. No. <laughs> no. Thanks for listening, everybody. You can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Not SoundCloud, Spotify, Google Play, all over the place. Uh, I think we're still good for next week. But it's the week after that. I think you're... Uh, I'm out August, the week of August, the first week of August. Okay. So we'll do something, I guess. Do something. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> uh, or actually, I think I have to be in Cincinnati next week unless so if we want to record on a different day or do something different okay well, we'll, we'll I was hoping that you later. were going to say actually you were going to be in Cincinnati the first week of August because that is where I will be the first week of August <laughs> and that would have been really cool Ian could have just come up to Cincinnati too and just record <laughs> yeah, there I'll just, I'll just come along and we'll record in Cincinnati <laughs> I can work remotely I can work from anywhere as long as I've got the internet I'm good so, uh, yeah, so the, all these episodes are up on, on tapog.com, up on YouTube. Uh, let's see. Hey, I've started streaming some, so come on. Hey, check, check it out on YouTube. Get some more subscribers. Uh, and in the meantime, hey, do you want to uh, send us something? We've got a package today, so next time we do a regular episode, we'll open that. You can send that to Tadpog Studios, Care of Nicole Nance, P.O. Box 3785, Duke, Kentucky, 42002. Uh, do you want to call us? We'll take some calls eventually, 270-883-2555. Uh, most importantly is that Patreon. Ian, do you have a list of our executive producers? I do have a list of those. And before I do that, I'm just going to say a little teaser. Coming up, hopefully next week, I'll be making an announcement about an exciting new promotion we've come up with. Um, further details to come. I'm, not, I'm just going to leave you with that. Uh, and keep you interested. It is directly tied to Patreon, and I think you'll dig it. Uh, but for now, I am, you are legally required to listen to this list of executive producers. These are the wonderful people that donate $20 or more per month to the cause. The glow implanted in your subspace they, we are, demands <laughs> it. <laughs> we have implanted the glow into these people, and they donate $20 or more per month. That's the only reason. That's the only explanation. It takes a long time. (laughs) It does. It really does. Uh, So I'm going to read the list now, starting with Cousin David Galino, Temporal Eternal Savior, Cubicle Monkey, Plinko Nick Price, Executive Producer Dick Dougie, Enthusiast Jeff Miners, Master Cycle Baron Kevin Link, Bantha Master, Game Bug Prime Nathan Eaton, Matt Gentile, a.k.a. Gentle G. Congratulations on your marriage. Usurper Grimm, Princess Banana Hammock, Flavor Trick, Taryn Landon, Pinball Archmaze, Chris Edler. I'm sorry you couldn't be on this episode. Platinum member, Brett Miller. Sandwich Pope, Phil Hawkins. Nate from Utah, first-time caller. And last but not least, Sick Jake. We're sorry you fell for the marketing. Thanks, Thank guys. you, guys. So no one new to Patreon. Thank you very much for everyone hanging in there. I know times are tough. It sucks all the way around, so... Every every little bit helps, and thank you very very much. Uh, let's see our our theme for this is it's Anna Monaguchi. What is yes. it? Again? Mess. Mess. Mess by Anna Monaguchi. Uh, although when I apparently I got a copyright infringement whenever I did Flora and Fauna for one of the songs. So despite the fact it's on Free Music Archive, YouTube still didn't like it. <laughs> but mess is okay. Um, how do we want to close this one out? As our favorite Beef O'Brady employee. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So until next time. Tropical. Tropical. Capricorn. Capricorn. This whiskey is fine. Ficker. <laughs> Fick shit. Fick shit. Fick shit. Hauer. <laughs> Hauer. <laughs> so uh, as you're turning around, Lim, your cell phone rings. Uh, I'll answer it. H- hey, Lim. Link? Yeah, I'm over here behind the ping pong table. <laughs> oh, did... Okay. I've been here. Yeah. I just keep forgetting. I'm, I'm so here. sorry. I keep it's forgetting, okay. too. There's it's just okay. a lot that's going on right now. I know, now. it's really scary. Don't turn around yet. <laughs> but before you do, I don't know, I'm not really into the band name. Do you have any other ideas? <laughs> Something I could do while you guys deal with this. And I'm going to sit over here and just draw it. <laughs> uh, Whisper. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll put my 
cut my hand over the phone. It's Link. He says, don't turn around. And um, he wants to know about the band name. He wants to do drawings. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Any ideas? Something involving Beef O'Brady's. <laughs> right? M- McBeef O'Brady hand. <laughs> Did you say Mc, Mc Beef O'Brady hands? <laughs> Just <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I meant more like O'Brady hand, like O'Hula hand. Oh, like this hand. <laughs> but I was no. thinking Edward Scissor hands, but he had so like Beef O'Brady. <laughs> Yeah, yep, me too. <laughs> I like that. I like, I like that I wasn't the only one who had that McBeef O'Brady weird hands. image just show up in my brain. It can be it can be a Scotsman playing a Edward Scissor hands in a beef O'Brady uniform with just <laughs> beef hands. <laughs> just like sausage for fingers. I like, yeah, uh <laughs> I think we're gonna go with <laughs> I think we could go with uh, beef. O- <laughs> I think we're like, I think we could go with make beef o- bread. <laughs> oh, like Edward Scissorhands, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I think. Okay. Okay. Cool. Can you work with that? I'm gonna work with that. White. You can go ahead and turn around now. Perfect. <laughs> Can we actually get in touch with the real Link and have him draw that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to write that down before I forget it. (laughs) 